With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello students, the question is an ideal solution contains two volatile liquids A whose partial pressure is whose vapor pressure is 100 dot and B whose vapor pressure in pure state is 200 dot. If mixture contain 1 mole of A and 4 mole of B then the total vapor pressure of the distillate is. So in this question we are given that an ideal solution it contains two volatile liquids A whose vapor pressure in pure state is 100 dot and B whose vapor pressure in pure state is 200 dot. If in mixture 1 mole of A and 4 mole of B are present so we have to calculate the total pressure of this liquid. So let's say if we have two volatile liquids in this container it contains A and B A and B so it means it will have the mole fractions in liquid state XA and XB these are the mole fractions of A and B in liquid phase and when these volatile liquids they evaporate to form vapors so Ya and Yb these are the mole fractions of A and B in the vapor phase mole fraction of A and B in vapor phase and we have to calculate the total pressure of the distillate distillate means which has been vaporized which has been vaporized so we have to calculate the total vapor pressure due to mole fractions Y A and Y B so first the total pressure of the total pressure of the mixture A and B will be mole fraction of A in liquid phase to the pure vapor pressure of A plus mole fraction of B into vapor pressure of B in pure state this is according to Dalton's law that total pressure is equal to the partial pressures of the given components this is according to Dalton's law now we can calculate the total partial total vapor pressure of the mixture in the liquid phase first so X is the mole fraction of A in liquid phase that is equal to Na upon Na plus Nb and Nb that is mole fraction of B will be number of moles of sorry it should be Xb so this will be number of moles of A plus number of moles of B now we are given that the 1 mole of A mixture so it will be 1 upon 1 plus number of B moles are 4 so it will be this and for mole fraction of B that will be number of moles of B that is 4 upon 1 plus 4 which means this is 1 by 5 and this is 4 by 5 now we are given the vapor pressures in the pure state so we can calculate the total pressure of the mixture in the liquid phase first so that is 1 by 5 into 100 plus 4 by 5 into 200 and this this is in tor this is also in tor this gives us 1 by 5 into 100 that is 20 plus this that is 160 so this gives us the sorry it is 180 so this is the total vapor pressure total vapor pressure of the mixture in the liquid phase but we have to calculate the total vapor pressure of the distillate so it will be the total vapor pressure of the distillate that will be equals to PT that is Y into P naught A plus 
y b into v not b. That is y is the mole fraction of a in vapor phase and y b is the mole fraction of b in the vapor phase. Now y a and y b can be calculated as say partial pressure of a that will be equals to mole fraction of a in vapor state into total pressure. This is the partial pressure of a or vapor pressure of a and this is equal to mole fraction of a in liquid state or liquid phase into P naught A. So we can calculate Y A from this as we know X A into P naught A and P T is also we have calculated total pressure. This is the total pressure. So Y A can be calculated from this that is X A into P naught A divided by P two. X A we have calculated that is 1 by 5 into P naught A that is 100 divided by 180. So this gives us 1 by 5 into 100 that is 20. So 20 by 180 that gives us 1 by 9. Now we know Y A plus Y B that is sum of the mole fractions is equal to 1. So we have Y A so Y B will be 1 minus Y A. So it will be 1 minus 1 by 9 that is equal to 8 by 9. Or we can calculate this by partial pressure of B will be mole fraction of Y mole fraction of B in vapor state into total pressure equals to mole fraction of B into vapor pressure of B in pure state. Similarly, we have calculated for A. It means Y B will be 8 by 9. Now we have Y A and Y B. So we can calculate the total pressure of the distillate. So that will be total vapor pressure of distillate so we will write it as pt dash so it will be y a that is 1 by 9 into p naught a that is 100 dot plus 8 by 9 that is y b mole fraction of b in vapor state into vapor pressure of b in pure state that is given 200 dot so this gives us the value as 100 by 9 tor plus this as 1600 by 9 tor which is equals to 1700 by 9 tor. So this is equal to 188.8. So this is the vapor pressure of the distillate. So correct answer to this question is the C option 188.88. This is the total vapor pressure of the distillate due to the mole fractions of the A and B in the vapor phases YA, YB. I hope you understood the solution. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITJ and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.